Okay, welcome back. Now that we have gotten acquainted with cPanel and Control Panel, we're going to go ahead and install WordPress and start your WordPress website. Okay, so make sure you click on cPanel. And after you clicked on cPanel, click on install WordPress. Okay, you should reach this page that says Softaculous. All right, hover over WordPress and press the install key. Okay, so you should reach this page and it's going to say Softaculous. All right, so we're going to install WordPress on our website. All right, where it says choose installation URL, we're going to choose HTTPS. Okay, just like I said before, the S is for secure site lock, it's for encrypted information that your visitors may submit on your website, such as credit card information. If you're um, selling items and they need to submit credit card information is all encrypted so your website shows integrity that you're not going to steal any inf information so any website that you create make sure this is uh, this is available okay alright we're going to install WordPress in the directory okay you may be you will be installing WordPress on your home directory which is your just the web just the web just the website okay and I'll be installing it for an example in the directory so I'm installing WordPress within the directory and you are installing your WordPress website just on the website homepage itself okay let's be clear about that so let me choose a website I'm going to choose this website called mypetfinpage.com okay I'm going to enter I'm going to install WordPress on a directory. Now you don't have to do this, but you can if you want to, if you plan on using your front page of your website, which is your home page, for something else other than WordPress. Okay. Um, but usually you would install your WordPress on your front page or in a directory. Okay, so I'm going to install mine in a directory for just for an example, since I've already installed something on this front page. Okay, so I'm say example one. Okay, so just like I said, install WordPress on your front page, or you could place it in a directory. All right, I'm gonna scroll down here. I'm going to choose a name, my blog pet fan page. Now you can make this title anything that you want. This is just preoccupying the site title just before you install the WordPress website uh, software okay so and I can call the description I can name it anything I want let's say my blog which talks about my pet alright or you know it could be whatever you desire alright I'm gonna scroll down here I'm going to keep this as the username as admin and you can choose your password all right so I'm going to choose my password this is for logging into your WordPress website all right my uh, since I've already created a uh, personalized uh, email from my website is already preoccupied is admin at mypetfanpage.com you can also go to my tutorials and you can learn how to create a professional personalized website uh, email okay for your website all right I'm gonna choose English let's select, let's select plugins I'm gonna leave this as it is classic editor please click on here okay you want the classic editor it is much easier the text editor the classic one is much easier to use so please click classic editor make sure that it's checked alright and you can choose a theme right now or later on log into your desk uh, your, your dashboard and your WordPress website and choose any one of these that you would like you have several hundreds of thousands of themes to choose from so I'm just gonna pick one out the blue I'm gonna say um, just I'm just gonna choose one and then I'm going to press install okay I've just installed 
the WordPress software onto my website it is in the directory example one okay just like I said before you may install it just on your website alone but I just created a, di a directory to install it which is in example one all right so let's look at it take a look at it and how it looks as you can see my title says my blog pen my blog pet is just an example just like I said before and this is WordPress this is WordPress this is how it looks now your page uh, the pages that you create will be on the top on the top right here you can change the background you can change the buttons around everything all of this you can change around it's like I said you could change your theme around anytime you want to and when you make a post uh, about anything if it's about your dog your uh, your uh, your cooking your cooking abilities your talents whatever it is that you want to show out to the world it'll show on here on your front page this is your um, widget area you can add anything as such as links this is this is what you call a blog that you install on your website okay and it update you can update it uh, without having to log into your control panel you just log right into your WordPress website just like that okay so that is your website now let's take a look at what your login your dashboard will look like okay so this is your dashboard where it says welcome to WordPress this is your WordPress dashboard you have several links on your left that you can use to manage your um, website okay so for instance if you want to make a post about something all you have to do is hover over post, press add new. Very simple. Okay, this is your classic uh, WordPress editor in which I told you to check. This is the reason why, because it is much easier to uh, change your elements. If you want to uh, bold, italicize, um, whatever, whatever that you would like for the change the elements and style of your uh your post when you're uh, publishing articles or publishing whatever material that you would like this is your visual the text editor is for um, if you if you have knowledge of HTML code and knowing how to use the snippets in which I show you in my tutorial page on webpostingthrone.com okay so you have the ability to create posts which will show up on your front page right here okay when you create a post it'll show up here all right you have the ability to create pages all right where it says add new simply click on add new and there you go just like add title just like the uh, the posts where I just showed you you can add your title once you add your title and then add your content within the um with right here below in the text uh, editor right here you can do visual or you know or text all right and then you have other things such as plugins you can add new plugins you can deal with your settings and if you want to change like if you want to um you can click on discussion and you know if you don't want comments to be added you can just put in allow comments or simply don't allow comments and that's for your pages and that includes your post as well you can um, use that feature it's so many features here you can change your password and so many other things um, just like I said go back to my tutorials and I go deeper into those type of elements of WordPress okay this is just to in, this is this tutorial is for showing you how to install and start your blog okay and this is how it will look this is your blog and just like I said before you could change the themes you have several themes to change to uh, to fit your blogs content okay so thank you all for joining me um I will be joining you again and I hope you will join me in the next tutorial.